And we are live. Good evening, everyone. I'm with my mentor, Admiral Sel Rupak, who is the person behind Mrs. M. Rupak. And this is our first time. Well, she's my first uh, interview. I'm doing this interview for her so that you'll get to know my mentor and me as well and what we do behind our business. So here we go. I'll have my first question. Are we going to share it first? Let's share this first. Okay. Um, you question? Oh, wait. Sorry. How do I share this now? Hang on. Um, wait, what's the name of our team? Um, Sorry, guys. I'm just searching hey. for. This is what this is what happens when we go live. <laughs> I can't find it. Never mind. They they can just watch this later. Oh yes. So when the mentee meets the mentor, and my first question for you would be, din 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 din, who is behind Mrs. M. Rupak? Well, not literally, but you know the meaning behind or the reason behind the name well mrs m rupak well it's very clear there i'm a you know i'm i'm a mother i'm a wife so um we always say when we introduce ourselves that you know um i do this uh my family is behind me my husband is behind me but personally um i think it's it's I think I mentioned this to you earlier on. Yeah. <laughs> um, you've asked about the icons, icon that I always use yeah. when posting. I feel like there's a fairy in me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I feel like by using um, that title as a missus, um, it shows that you know I'm fulfilling my role as well as a mother and as a wife. And that is the reason why I'm doing this business anyway. And the icon that I use, the fairy icon, is I feel like I've always wanted to share um, every chance or every opportunity that there is to the people that I know, um, you know, to, to share whatever success or whatever um, um, path that is open. Um, so we could, you know, anyone who's willing to join me to this journey would be able to um, to do so as well, the same journey as I'm taking. That's lovely. And I thought you, it was a fairy because you wanted to be a Tinkerbell or a Tooth I I, I, I I still wanted, I wanted to be a fairy too. <laughs> if I could just like, I wanted the, I wanted the, the you know, the, the, the thought of being able to um, sprinkle like yeah to just do that and sprinkle joy and everything else that people wanted or that my loved ones wanted and I feel like by doing this or mentoring other people I feel like I'm being like a fairy godmother to them somehow yeah <laughs> well to me it is indeed because you know I've learned quite a lot and you've been very very patient and that's one thing you know that a mentor is really for when they're patient and even you know even if it's not business related we, we talk right mm -hmm. behind behind the, the scenes and the, the business and even if it's not a go live you know you can just go hey hi Ate, how are you and you'll be like hey what's up <laughs> <laughs> you know so as the same as with our other business partners Bell I, might, I know this is a common question but here we go how would you define success like yourself not what google would define it just how yeah would you say it in your own words like for me my own definition of success is being able to to feel the fulfillment um being able to feel that i have achieved all my all the things that i wanted not just for myself but for 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 all my loved ones not just for my immediate family not just for my kids my husband but also for my mom and my dad and my sister so being able to um 
feel that I have um, given them enough, you know, that I have given them a comfortable life, that for me, I'm happy with that already. That for me is success already, being able to help them and give them comfort, not just financially, but, you know, all aspects in life, but more on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And, you know, I've, I've asked this before, I think, but if you weren't a nurse or an entrepreneur, what do you think you would be like? What was your childhood dream? Or like, you know, we all have our own dreams. Like I wanted to be a doctor before or I wanted to be like an office girl or maybe like, you know, traveling, but obviously yeah. different circumstances. And obviously you have your childhood dream and then you have your real dreams, right? Yeah. So, would you mind sharing? <laughs> when I was a kid, I really, really wanted to be either a doctor or a lawyer. That's mm -hmm. since I was uh, maybe in primary school. But I didn't even take up, you know, pre-med, um, you know, course. I wanted to be a lawyer because my grandfather, my mother's on my mother's side, um, is a lawyer, was a lawyer. Um, but then... It, the, you know, the plans didn't go through um, because my dad is, he, he's really strict. He won't even let me study in Manila because I, I live in a province. I live, <laughs> I live um, maybe two, three hours away from Manila and all the, you know, the nice universities and all that, you know, of course, everybody's heading to the big city, but yeah. he wouldn't let me do that. So, you know, think, plans didn't push through. Um, but then, a door opened for me to do a bit of, um, you know, I don't want to say this, <laughs> a bit of modeling when I was younger. So, you know, the nearest to that course wise, you know, formal education wise, um, I planned off um, taking up, um, uh, of, of being a, a flight stewardess. I have actually applied for that when, um, when I was in, university uh but then one of the requirements is one of the requirements is being able how to jump from a certain Hi. number of, yeah in water not necessarily how to swim they said because i didn't know how to swim i don't know how to swim so they said you don't necessarily have to know how to swim you just needed to be able to jump because you'll be wearing life vests anyway um and i couldn't do that so i didn't push it <laughs> Up till yeah. now, I know my kids are swimmers as well. <laughs> They're really good yeah. at swimming, and I take them swimming every day. But I don't know how to swim. The mother I don't cannot. know how to swim either. <laughs> but maybe we can learn together. You know. Yeah. So I, I'd probably be um, still pursuing that. You know, if I didn't go to, um, if I didn't go abroad, or maybe I'd be modeling. I'd be so um, mestiza now. <laughs> Uh, you can still be a model that day. It doesn't matter, I think, now. But anyways, um, right. Let's talk about business, shall we? What is your favorite feature of our digital business? Apart from all the advantages, I think, like, it will be your personal favorite. Hmm. My favorite feature of our digital business. Um... Maybe being able to, well, personally, really, being able to earn, <laughs> um, to earn extra, and also being able to showcase what I really wanted to do. I like posting mm -hmm. pictures of myself, yeah. of my family, and the things that, before I do this business, before I started with this business, I was already doing that, and being able to carry on doing that with mm. a purpose and with, you know, benefit you know, tagged along with it yeah. is superb, right? Yeah. So yeah, being able to just continue what I am already doing in social media. I use social mm -hmm. media a lot, even before, because my my extended family is abroad. So that's yeah. our easy, that's the easy way to communicate with them and to update them of what's happening with my life, what hap what's happening with the kids. So yeah, so that's my favorite feature, being able to do what I'm already doing but earning at the same time. 
So, so you're maximizing and utilizing yeah. at the same time you're enjoying. But would you say that was there ever a hindrance, you know, um, being a full-time mom, a full-time employee, and, you know, running this business? I'm sure you have, we all have ups and downs, right? Mm -hmm. But was there ever like a point? And then how did you manage to obviously um, push those boundaries and overcome those challenges if there was any yeah maybe at the beginning it's not mm. it's not a barrier or something it's just because you know when you're creating a business you need to find time to sit down and do the training when you do it when you're yeah. starting any business um yeah. in this business that we do you have to go through the training um we always say that the training is easy you can do it mm -hmm. in your own time but me i wanted to start it straight away because i'm that you know, I, I wanted it so bad. I wanted a side hassle so bad. Therefore, I wanted to start straight away. So finding that day or two to go through the training oh. all together, all in one go, um, that's, it, it's not a hardship, but that's one of, you know, the, not the hardest, no, I don't know how to say it, but it's, it's one of those um, things Challenging. Um, challenges yes and also being able to um share it with with my husband <laughs> because i think for most um it's very common you know when you yeah. have um a, a husband a wife or a, a, when you have a partner who doesn't believe in the business or who's skeptical to begin yeah. with um it, it's hard to um, make them believe in it until perhaps when you're seeing results already yeah. like like how you know our coach you know did coach glenda her husband was yeah. very skeptical to begin with <laughs> but when he started seeing the in you know the the earnings and all that he's wanting to join in <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. so yeah just that and after that everything went smoothly because i could run it around you know my permanent job and you know everything that i do um, it's actually good because, you know, when I'm waiting for the kids to finish swimming, say, for example, or when I'm doing any extracurricular run for them, I was just sitting in the car doing nothing, mm. just on Facebook or Instagram. But now I have something, you know, profitable to do. Yeah. So, yeah, I do. I do. I do this while waiting for them in, to finish whatever activity they have. So, yeah. yeah. And I think it kind of unleashes the creativity that you thought you've never had in a way, right? Like, yeah. apart from obviously posting and everything and going doing the go lives, in a way, you don't realize that the things that you didn't know before, you already know now, It's and it's kind of natural now. Yeah. You have to think about it before. But now also, it's just like, okay. yeah. I'll so when it. you yeah before when i post pictures perhaps on my social media i just mm. like dump everything in there <laughs> like 10 <laughs> pictures in one go everything that's in my in my photo um you know um list on my phone yeah but just now awesome. i've learned to like filter you know which yeah. one is the nicest one you mm. know which one is more you know which one would give more value to, you know, yeah. the fa say, for example, if I post it on my business page, which one would add more value for my audience or for my followers, yes. things like that. Yeah, you don't and just dump everything in there. Yeah, and is that something that you've learned as you obviously progress to this business or is that something that you've just found out yourself or was it your decision to make those kind of things? And um, it. I learned it from from doing the business because you know we go through a specific you know tabs yes. in the training site and it will tell you what type of pictures to post you know what what's more attractive to people and also because we're engaging in attraction marketing yes. right lifestyle marketing of course mm. it's not all pretty pictures and all you know dep yes. it depends on your branding as well because mm. if, if you're branding yourself to be like um, as, you know, um, a full-time hands-on mother. Yeah, you 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 don't have any other jobs. You don't 
go to the office or you're not a nurse. Of course, your presentation in your digital platform would be how you look like at home, right? Yeah. So it, yeah, so it depends on your branding. But for me, because I still work, I still go outside, you know, sometimes I'm made up like tonight. Sometimes I look like a mess. <laughs> so it depends. And it, it's all going to be, you know, um, taught. Um, yeah. in, in in the training side so yeah so don't worry about that it's it's all so crazy. i guess what you're trying to say is you know because a lot of people would like be worried if they're new like oh my god i need to go to places or i need to be uh, all dolled up all the time or i need everything needs to be so like on the right angle or everything mm -hmm. needs to be perfect when you're taking pictures right but i guess this is just showing and making them realize that you know all you really need to be is just be yourself and yeah. authentic. I mean, for within reason that you'll have some filters, obviously you're not going to post a picture that's got like, you know, snot or something or with, a, you know, clothes that you wouldn't normally show yourself to other people kind of thing. So, and that's something that will be taught. But um, it's something that you, you just basically what we're trying to say is you just have to show the real you instead of yes. just you know yes. filtering everything it, out it will it will it will go along as well you know sometimes because you've gone through the training and you've been doing it for mm. a while unconsciously you, you do that you know you you when you take pictures oh it's not in the center it's not you're not in the center of the the frame yes. it it will be so natural to you yeah. already when you've been doing it for a while um like my husband, <laughs> when he takes picture, he would sometimes, you know, the person is on the side or if it's a beautiful scenery, he would do a close up picture of you. But where's the scenery? Where's the background? So I teach him that and now he, he gets it. He he automatically do it. Sometimes he takes better picture than I do. So, yeah, it's a skill that yeah. can be learned. And yeah, and it, it, it would bring out beautiful pictures, even if it's not a picture that's, you know, you're you're made up or anything like that. Yeah. Even if it, yeah. But you'll you'll find that there are when you post picture, you you will be able to see a lot in that one picture, right? You it has got a message. Sometimes you don't even need to put anything on your caption, just the picture. Mm. Sometimes you can only put an emoji, and people will be able to to catch what message you're trying to say on that picture if you know when you've been doing it for a while yeah maybe it depends on your audience as well isn't it um like what sort of market you have because you know i've noticed some that they don't even go to like fancy places but they just feature what they are at home so that's another thing because i know a lot of people would be a bit worried if they go like oh well, I don't really go out that much and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's one thing to be thinking of. Anyways, let's go for what's your favorite quote? Oh, cheesy, but I want to know. Pang <laughs> love is blind, bayan, and lovers cannot see. Slam book. <laughs> Digital slam book. Um, Let's say hello to Sherry Ann first. She's watching. Hi, Sherry Ann. She's oh, one of our hi, business Abby. partners. She's, oh, yeah, you know Sherry Ann. Yeah, yeah. She makes good cake. Lovely cake, <laughs> which I still have some in the fridge. Oh, did you order some recently? Yes. For oh, my nice. Birthday. Um, we make the bed. So, like, I have some more. <laughs> so, what's my favorite quote? Um, there is a time for everything. A season for every activity under the heaven. It's in the yeah. Bible. Oh. In, uh, yes. So, yeah. Um, sometimes you might question why things happen so slowly. Why this happened to you. You know, everything has got a reason. You might not be able to find out the answer to our questions straight away. But in time, you, you know, you're, you're, you'll find out why. And I believe that, you know, everything is planned by yeah. the heavens above. Mm -hmm. So just trust the process. 
on whatever you are going through, whatever you are doing, everything has got, uh, you know, its own timing. That's so true. Because you can plan all we want, but it's always the Lord's plan that will always prevail. So you just have to be patient like a circle. <laughs> Is yeah. what I say to my daughter, but there we go. Because apparently, circle is a never-ending process. Oh, hindi yan sa Squid Game, ah? Uh? <laughs> no, not the Squid Game. No, but everyone's talking about that film. Oh well, that series at work. So, mm. but no, it's not from Squid Game. <laughs> oh so, yeah. Mm. You might answer this. You might not. But here we go. Do you have any hidden talent? Oh. No, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I don't know. Because I don't know how to be like sing. Some people can like they bend their elbow. Do you know? Um, I I don't think so. I can make loud noise through my by uh my tongue. <laughs> you want to hear it? Yes. <laughs> I don't know, maybe perhaps other people can do this too. But when, when we were younger, when we were playing in the streets, and I was in elementary school, I would always um, do this noise. Wow, <laughs> 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 um, Um, in our province, it's called takla. Um, you, you, when you make noise, um, through your tongue. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you're doing that Squid Game theme song. <laughs> but when when we were younger, when I want to get the attention of my playmates, I would just um st stand in front of their windows oh but, yeah and i would make that like noise that. and that's our like um call bell or something yeah. like that it's it's our sign that come on get out of the house we're, we're going to play patin terror or something like that but i would just make that takla and i can do that really loud if i'm prepared <laughs> yes yeah because in the philippines when we were younger we, we have car fuse nine o'clock. We couldn't mm. go out of the house anymore. But yeah, so we make signs and so we could make takas from. Um... Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. um, was there ever like a memorable thing about what's the most memorable thing you've ever come across, you know, since doing this business? Business wise? Yes. Most memorable. The milestones, of course, and um, the most memorable milestone would be well the latest one, and I'm looking forward for more, and yes. I'm looking forward for more for more milestones for my business partners as well. Um, one of the most memorable ones, I think, is well every time you receive a new partner, a new business partner, it's always memorable. Um, of course, the first one would be, yes. you know, the most, um, the most exciting one because it's your very first one, and I was so happy, and it it would it would kickstart your it would give more, yeah. um, it it will give more a passion, desire, and you mm. know the burning passion in you would yes. would would lit up would light up because. Um, you feel like, oh, this is starting. Um, yeah, and there's many more to come. As I've said earlier, timing, timing. There's a yes. you know, time for everything. Yeah. How do you keep the excitement with the business since we're talking about memorable things? You know, Because we're all aware that sometimes you can feel a bit mm, or put it down or sometimes you just don't feel it. Yeah. But how do you bump it up? How do you keep that motivation? How do you just keep going? Masterminds. 
I, I think I've mentioned this to you as well, and most yeah. of our business partners in, in our little group are saying the same thing. That's yeah. true, actually. That is very true. Sometimes, you know, it's always it's not always excitement and it's not always happy days. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you feel a bit down, you know, because you're mm. a human being, even if you're not doing this business in your everyday <laughs> life, you know, mm. there are ups and downs. Uh, but business-wise, digital business-wise, all I have to do is plug into the masterminds and it will definitely, you know, make you push harder. It, yes. will, make, it will light you up. It will uh, wake you up because you will hear, you know, people sharing their experiences and sharing the the the, the journey that they've made and you know all the obstacles that they've gone through before mm -hmm. reaching the top yeah sometimes when you think of of what have what they've gone through through it's nothing compared to what you are experiencing yeah yeah, yeah? So they, for, for the two of us we're lucky that you know we have an intact family you've got your husband i've got my husband we're all together but for some mm -hmm. business partners they're single mothers they have three yeah. kids and you know they've made it to success they've made it to the top yeah so yeah. if if keep if they can do it some are grandmothers who doesn't even know how I to know. use this smartphone yeah. they're like retirees 70 years old grandmother able to go to the top to reach the top so mm. it will make you think like what am i doing like what am i moaning about if these yeah. people can do it you know there's so no reason for you, for yeah. me, for me not to do it too, or for, you know, for me not to keep going. That's right. Oh, there, we've got some viewers. There's Marilu Serra. Greetings from the UK. Hello. Good evening. Thanks for tuning in. Hi. Hi. And then now that, so that's how you keep going. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, if there's ever like, the funny side of the business do you have any like bloopers that you can share like oh my god i didn't know this before you know like things like that that sometimes makes you chuckle in yourself like oh my god i'm so glad i know this now because before yeah a lot of a lot of things about facebook i didn't know from before yeah. and also um before i i say anything about facebook our little group we have our little group a little uh you you know the the our nursepreneurs group yeah, yeah? our little, little thursday group yeah we, we we share lots and lots of not just about business there we, we kind of like feel like we're we're friends for a long time yeah so we can blurt out anything on that chat now <laughs> i don't think um I, i'm not thinking like oh i might offend you know such yeah. and such if i say that. i just i feel like i can say anything on that chat. yeah even don't. if we've only met in person like for the others once or twice but i feel like we're still like that <laughs> yeah. it's funny though because although we have we all have different personalities i think it comes with respect and because we i don't know we just all jive for mm. although we're like all different like at the window she's very like so reserved but jolly at the same time well as Atithea she's that, like so you know she's always smiling carefree and Atilea she's she's the same like although we're all different but we're yeah. kind of the same <laughs> and what's nice is sense, yeah we, we we have different mentors mm. we have different business connections we're not you know we're family but we're business family but our our relationship are you know from different um areas of the business if yeah. i don't know how else to describe it but we support each other mm. and we gel which yeah. is the good thing and yeah. sometimes you know even thea thea said this to me has mentioned this to me when she feels down that chat is bringing her so much <laughs> um you know uplift up, uplifting uplift, yeah. upliftment um, because we can kind of joke about stuff in there. Yeah, it's just good vibes. And, mm -hmm. you know, like even though we're all like entrepreneurs, you don't feel, well, I don't feel the competition. It's just more of support more than anything else. Although mm -hmm. we do do different things, but 
you know, even if we're busy, sometimes it's just so quiet and then all of a sudden the chat will just go straight away, right? Sometimes it's when so it's when you're at work and you know you're busy at work and then the rest are off and yeah. you'll catch up with like 30 messages. <laughs> and you have to like read back. Yeah. It's it's good fun. It's it's business and pleasure at the same time. <laughs> And I can't wait for the time when we can, like, you know, organize business trips. Oh, yeah. Care of the business. <laughs> and the business will just take care of everything. Yeah. Doing at the Wendell. Keep your receipts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, what else shall I ask? Well, what would you choose? Brains or loyalty? Um... And why? Like and why? <laughs> My and why, pa? Um, loyalty. Why? Interesting. I just want people to be loyal to me. <laughs> um, I think for it, it's it's quite. In, I don't know. It's quite important for me loyalty because. Mm. The trust is there as well when you're loyal, yes. you know, you kind of, the trust is within it already. And um, when you're, when you're brainy, so when brains, you know how much the brain can produce. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. some brainy person can think of ways that can hurt people. Mm. You know, they have lots of um, rationality for things that yeah. even if it's going to hurt their loved ones, they would go for, for that option. Whereas loyalty, <laughs> I'm all yours. Yeah. <laughs> you right. when, when you're loyal, um, the support is there and the trust is there. So that's just me personally. Yeah. No judgment. Um, I know two things that you like the most, which is wine and steak and uh -huh. cake. Uh -huh. if you, were to three. Choose, <laughs> you know, those three things, what would be your first? Oh, cake. <laughs> well, calling Sherry Ann, Ann calling course. Sherry Ann. <laughs> cake, take me Sherry Ann. <laughs> which flavor? Um everything <laughs> any cake I, I like i eat i like eating cake so it doesn't matter what you know what oh, flavor so you're more yeah. sweet than savory yes yes um but of course you know we always crave for you know our own fla filipino flavored cakes like mango cake ube cake Panda. We're, we're, yeah we're, we're quite lucky that we know you know people who's making really good cakes and we can easily get it from them now but before it's hard you always like so you always like see that you only see that in parties <laughs> like the mango cakes and you know the buko pandan and all that you kind of like fight over it i'm gonna get dessert first before i eat <laughs> i know it's so good though but i mean every like everything just gets so better when you have something that is sweet like cakes it makes it more like I don't know I've always said at the, at the Sherry Ann that her cakes has always always takes me to my childhood because mm, they taste like back home yes you know what the ones True. that you, you buy from the bakery yeah Goldilocks when I tasted <laughs> when I first tasted her um the, the mocha cake I said to her this tastes like Goldilocks or red ribbon like the roll the roll yeah yeah i hope she's still watching i hope she sends us cake <laughs> we're promoting you so much now <laughs> <laughs> right so what else so if i am to start if i was to start this business and i said oh i've read all about you know the perks the advantages and how it works i can basically start it now what would be your personal advice? Do it now. That simple. Yeah, do it now. I will mentor you. 
I will guide you. I will help Hi. you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be your fairy godmother. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, guys, this is what you get. I think um, I've asked a lot of questions. Do you have any messages to the viewers? Um, Do you yes. have any questions? Nothing? Well, anything? Anyone would like to ask questions? Oh, she's already answered. She's baking right now. Ooh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, my message for your for the viewers, if um, if you have a dreams, if you have goals and dreams, I, I'm sure you have not if you have, I would only say dreams will remain dreams until you take action. Yeah, you can dream all you want. But if you don't do anything about it, it will remain a dream. So make your steps. Start now. Start your journey towards achieving your dreams. Yes. That's it. And go register on any of our websites. Yes. <laughs> we will help way, you realize your dreams. <laughs> yes. And, you know, you don't have... Um, my mentor, at the Marisol, knows that I was a bit camera shy. You wouldn't be able to tell it now, 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 now that I'm doing these lives. But, you know, you... you you'll somehow just find yourself doing it. I think it's when you work with people like my mentor, you know, my the, the nursepreneurs team, the Thursday team, it somehow just rubs on you. It's so you somehow just find that it's just natural. It becomes second nature. And I know I don't do a lot of lives. This is one of the first episodes, one of many episodes of when the mentor yeah. meets the mentor so just watch out i might have an episode two with another mentor because all of them are my mentors i can also be a mentor and sometimes you don't have to know everything but you just have to have the courage to do the things that you want to do and like what my mentor has said you have to start now act now and take that leap of faith and we will be there to guide you through your journey of being an entrepreneur. Isn't that right, my fairy godmother? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, at first, you know, our main, one of the main reasons why we venture into this business is to, you know, generate a second stream of resources, generate a stream of income. But, you know, we, we don't want to sound so materialistic that yeah, just all after money and all that. But come on, the truth is money, money, we need the money. Money gives us um, freedom and flexibility. And when you have that freedom and flexibility, you can figure out for yourself what makes you, what can make you happy, what will make you happy because you have the resources already to, to do the things that you've always wanted to do and to buy the things that you've always wanted to buy. So it's not just the material things as well, like what mm. Michelle has explained earlier on. You wouldn't see her doing this, you know, a few months ago. She she couldn't even picture it herself. No. But look at her now. Um, sometimes on our Thursday episode of uh, the live, she's the most confident, you know, <laughs> one talking over there. Like some, oh, it, it's so funny though. I wanted to share something. <laughs> When this, we, we assign topics for each one when we go live, but then she's got the wrong topic in mind. It's not the one that she's supposed to uh, discuss. So like on the spot, like a few minutes before we go live, we told her, oh, it's not it's not the one that you should That's discuss. Your chapter. <laughs> she's managed, she's pulled it. She's managed to go live with uh you know, no. <laughs> fresh topic in just a few minutes without you know batting an eyelash she, she she did it so that's um that's something that you could learn too <laughs> all through mentorship i think and coaching and the community that we get and i know we keep repeating it but really it's one of the biggest things that you you know you need when you're starting up i mean you can do it on your own that would be your choice but it would be better if you have people 
that have already been doing it that will support you, guide you, and boost up your confidence. And that being said, I'd like to ask my mentor, would you like to promote your website? Yes. Social platforms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys. My um, website, my business website is www.mirazelrupak.com. By registering your name and email through that website, you'll be able to receive a personal invitation link to our bi-weekly webinar, which we hold every Tuesdays and Thursdays, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But because we're based in Europe, we're based in the UK, that will be 1 a.m. the following day because we're slightly ahead. Um, it's it's um, live in Canada. Um, so anyway, um, if you register and if you happen, if you miss the live um, webinar, you'll be able to watch it in your own time, the replay one. So it's not a, a problem. I also have my YouTube channel. It's called Four in a Tribe. It's got a collection of business videos and family videos uh, through that platform. You'll be able to know more about me, more about my family, be able to see how real we are. We are real people. You know, we yeah. do adventure. We have adventures and misadventures in life, too. And it's all in there for you to get to know more about me. Um, and my business page on Facebook is called Mrs. M. Rupak. Just type in, just put Mrs. M. Rupak on your search bar on Facebook and you'll you'll find my page. Also, if you Google Mrs. M. Rupak, I have a Google page. Um, you'll see bits of information in there too. Instagram, I have Instagram, <laughs> azel.digital. Um, I'm just um, slowly building that one up. So it should be more interesting soon. Thank you. There we go. Anyways, thank you for tuning in guys. We'll try and see you next week. Bye. Or tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yes. We'll go live tomorrow. So see ya. Have Bye. a good evening. Bye.